Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and today we're taking a look at this week's pre-orders, and they are live. This video is sponsored by CMO Games. More on that later. All right, so here we have this week's pre-orders, and I cannot even begin to express how excited I am for the new Tyranids that we just saw previewed. If you haven't checked out that video, highly recommend you take a look. I summed it up real quick. Bunch of awesome stuff coming out. And then also we know there's a bunch of new Space Marine stuff coming as well. We don't know exactly when that's going to be previewed, but we'll keep an eye out for that. And as always, we'll do a summary video. I'll give you guys my thoughts, my opinions, and then uh, all that good stuff as well. But in the meantime, let's take a look at this week's releases because we've got a bunch of cool pre-orders. Uh, so we have first the starting Warhammer 40,000 recommended collection. So this is basically just the ultimate starter set for 210. And then we have the paint set with the tools and brush for 45. Uh, no deal on that. It's just a bundle. All right, and then we have the Ultimate Starter Set itself for $210. And if you haven't checked out the videos, I did a breakdown of the Ultimate Starter Set, the regular Starter Set, and then also the Introductory Starter Set. We broke down not only the actual matchups between like the forces if you were to fight with them, uh, but we also did a separate video where we break down like the actual value in each one, how much savings you get, and which one is the best set. And spoiler alert, you save about 66 to 70% with both of these sets right here. So both excellent value. You only save about 35% with the introductory set, which is still good right in line with Games Workshop's typical savings, but not quite as good as like their starter set or Leviathan savings. That being said though, I do love this product at $65 because it just has everything you need to actually start playing and painting. So if you were just brand new and have absolutely nothing at your disposal, this has everything you need. With the exception of basically some oxygen to breathe while you put everything together, paint it and play. And then of course, a little bit of water to wash off your paintbrushes, etc. But it has your tools to cut everything out. You technically don't even need a razor blade with this set because everything is push fit and you have a clippers in there. But obviously it's nice if you have a couple of basic tools as well. Uh, but really, really nice set. One single purchase, 65 bucks. You could give it to, you know, a kid of appropriate age, to a friend, etc. They can mess around with it, see if they have any interest in it. The middle set here, the actual starter set itself, still a really nice set, but it lacks two key components, which is the Terminator Librarian and the Barb Guns. Because inside the set, you get everything you need except for these two kits. And if you have these two kits, you can build both a Space Marine and a Tyranid Combat Patrol. So you're basically ready to play like 500 point games with this box set if you have the addition of these two. Now, if you were going to buy the Ultimate Starter Set, it has everything from this set. It has these two kits as well. And then it has the terrain and the rule book. But it is another $100. So it kind of depends how you look at it. The basic way I look at it and the simplest way to break it down is... If you want both combat patrols, you're going to have to spend another $38 and another $45 roughly. So that extra $83 you need to spend compared to the extra $100 the kit is. So you're basically paying $17 for the terrain and then the core rule book. So that's how you have to basically break it down. These sets are both very, very good. It's weird because this one's double the price, but you don't get a ton more in it. This one already has like all of the big savings encompassed. And then this is just like, hey, do you want just a little extra on top of it? So that being said, we see also the Librarian and Terminator Armor, 38 bucks. Very cool. The Barb Gaunt's $45. Keep in mind too, both of these were in the Leviathan set. So people are parting them out. You can get this Librarian for about 20 bucks. You can get the Barb Gaunt's for about 25. So really the extra 45 bucks for these on top of the 110 for this set, you're talking about 155. And then suddenly it's $55 for all the terrain and the core rule book. I've got a couple of videos putting all the information out there. The best thing to do is figure out what you're after and then go that route. If you're not really interested in combat patrol, these aren't really that important to you necessarily. So maybe this is the box set to play. But if you want to play two starter armies, if you want to play combat patrol, 500 point battles, you want the terrain, you want all the good stuff in it. This set is really just absolutely amazing. So this is really good for starters. This is really good for intermediaries. And this is really good for people that are ready to play combat patrol and take everything to the next level. So we also see the rule book here, Warhammer 40,000, the rules, $25 for this. Very, very surprising. Now this book is actually super cool. And at $25, it's a lot more interesting. It is basically this same book right here, this rule book in here, all of the core rules and nothing else. The difference is this one is soft cover. And this one is hardcover. So at $25 for this hardcover rulebook, 
You might be thinking, why would anyone want this? Because the rules are already free. Well, it's just so you have an actual book that you can take with you. And it's not the massive rule book that came in the Leviathan set with all the extra stuff in it. It's just the rules, no fluff. So I do really like that. I like the price point on it at $25. For me personally, I prefer the soft cover version that comes in the larger starter set. I would rather have that. But this is a really nice setup right here. And if you are going to be moving around or playing in different places, if you prefer physical like books and stuff like that over like digital copies, iPads, using your phone, etc., this is the way to go or one of those is. Uh, next we have White Dwarf 490. So they got some cool stuff in there talking about the new club, The Bunker, that Games Workshop is starting. So it's like their new gaming club. Uh, so we'll hear a little bit about that. And then afterwards, we got a couple of books here, The Awakening in paperback, and then Cypher, Lord of the Fallen in hardback. Uh, so if you're after either one of those, uh, this is obviously the story of the sort of leader of the fallen Dark Angels. So when the Dark Angels fell from grace and kind of like went down the path of chaos, half the chapter remained loyal, and the other half was kind of like in between, and the Lord of the Fallen, Cypher, was uh, one of the key characters in that. So real cool story right there. All right, and then we see the Space Marine and Furnace Marines and paint set and the Termagants and Ripper Swarm and paint set. Again, we did a little breakdown on these, uh, what exactly comes in them. There are some duplicate colors in this set. They both have the white. They both have the basing paste. So you're probably not going to want both of these. It's one or the other. So if you're thinking about picking up both of these, if you're not sure which one you want or what paints to get, etc., I would say probably just go down here to the Warhammer paint and tool set. These are actually really nice bundles. They're 45 bucks. They include 13 paints. So you have your basing texture, you have one wash, you have two metallics, and then you have nine other paints as well. So you're basically getting three free paints and then the tools as well. 45 bucks for this, always a good jumping off point. Keep in mind though, that the colors they have selected for this set is specifically to paint up Ultramarines and then also Tyranids of the Leviathan High Fleet. So you don't actually get like a great selection of paints for just painting regular stuff. They are definitely focused on these two armies, these two paint jobs. So that being said, if you are considering one of the starter paint sets or something like that, maybe have a look and just make sure it has the actual colors you're interested in. If more than half of the colors are just kind of meh, you're probably better off going with one of the other sets. Maybe even the contrast starter set. That's a really nice box. Now a quick message from today's sponsor. CMO Games has been selling Games Workshop products online for over 20 years. They carry the full line of Games Workshop products including Warhammer 40,000, Age of Sigmar, Necromunda, Blood Bowl, Paint Tools, and more. Almost all Games Workshop products are priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games takes pre-orders for most Games Workshop products released at their earliest date possible. 12.01 a.m. on Saturday, they go live. Most of these pre-order products are also priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games offer free shipping in the U.S. 48 with an order of $50 or more. Their customer service is top-notch and they ship most orders within 24 hours. Visit CMOGames.com using the affiliate link in the description and let them know that you heard about CMO Games from Warhammer Man. Now back to the video. And then just kind of finishing this up, we have a couple of the uh, previous releases. So Boss Snickrot still did not sell out. A couple of people took it to heart that I said he wasn't like broken in the rules or anything like that. I didn't expect him to sell out. Uh, it was like nothing personal. I just mean like orcs aren't really strong right now. So they're not going to like gravitate a ton of extra like meta chases towards orcs. And Boss Snickrot is not going to like draw in a bunch of extra attention that makes him sell out. That was my only point. Tau are not particularly amazing right now either, but Farsight is obviously an amazing, absolutely beautiful model. People love the like Gundam suits and stuff like that. Even people that aren't playing will buy this model to paint up much more than they're going to buy Snickrot. So again, it was like nothing personal against orcs or against Snickrot or saying that like they weren't good. I was just saying that I didn't think he was going to sell out, which of course he didn't. So I was right. Commander Farsight obviously sold out. And then the lion once again sold out. We do know these are permanent additions to the range, so they will be back. It'll probably take Games Workshop some time to do another run of them. They'll probably sell out again, but slowly but surely, they will be like regularly available again. I have seen multiple instances where both models have still been priced at or below retail. They have sold out relatively quickly, but it does mean that they're out there and you can find them for a good deal. Uh, and then finally, we have that Honorbound Special Edition book from last week sold out as well. So very, very cool. Super exciting. The Dark Angels are absolutely amazing. This edition, the Terminators just in general are awesome. So Dark Angels have the best Terminators or arguably the best. So that makes them even more awesome. And then Lionel Johnson, one of the few loyalist Primarchs, him and Gulliman. And uh, he is very, very good. Very, very durable. He can definitely still be killed, uh, but he's got the best chance of pretty much anything at staying alive in this edition. 
So very cool, a bunch of cool stuff coming out here, a bunch of excitement, lots of new kits, lots of new stuff. We had the new range reveal for the Tyranids. We got the Space Marines coming up. Very, very exciting. Lots going on in the Warhammer 40,000 universe or Games Workshop Warhammer in general. So let me know what you're going to be picking up, what you're most excited about. Make sure you check out those videos for the breakdown on the starter sets if you're not sure which one to pick up. Let me know what you think down below. Always like to interact with you guys. Appreciate when you comment on the videos. Take the time to like and of course subscribe. Special thanks to CMO Games for sponsoring the video. Link in the description to save 15%. That's it for today. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man and I'm out of here.